an Indian food restaurant in Malaysia that offers both North Indian food and also South Indian food alike both in one restaurant. Is it worth it? Come with me to find out. In this video, I'll first show you on a little bit on the directions and then we will go through the video so you can see what other food they order aside from the ones that I've showed. Last but not least is the food review. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're exploring Damansara Uptown which is also Damansara Utama in Petaling Jaya. Let's go! I know I've been coming to this Damansara Utama place for a little bit because there is a lot to eat around this shop lots area. It's not really convenient if if you're using public transport so you have to use those right hailing apps like grab anyhow this restaurant is located opposite their styling mall called curry leaf restaurant and if you're coming from the mall instead of using the road to cross there is a underground pathway where you can avoid the roads and cross straight into here if you like both north indian and south indian food you can see that they have some really good choices here they have the biryani combo and they have all these combo deals where you can have offering you a really nice banana leaf rice set deal that comes with meat or veggies of your choice if the banana leaf rice is not your thing don't worry they have none as well which is like indian flatbread you actually get the best of both worlds here with the amount of indian food variety that you can choose here so this is the menu of what they have which you can see there is a lot of choices of course it's always vegetarian friendly pork free so muslim friends can feel free to eat here as well oh finally that's the all of their menu of course you have to try their lassi which is like an indian style yogurt drink I'm gonna first start off talking about the prawn chatinat. It was rich on its own and is with super huge fresh juicy prawns. It goes really well with the banana leaf or biryani lamb rice if you're eating this. Very rich flavor. So next we have to try the uh, deep fried squid. As you can see the batter is nicely seasoned. There is deep fried with some sesame given with a lime. Always squeeze some lime to make it more refreshing you know. The squid rings is actually quite huge. So so it's not those like small crispy squid rings but these are the huge ones and it's a little bit chewy uh, as in like because it's huge a very nice portion this might look like fried chicken but it's actually not but it's gobi 65 it's deep fried cauliflower look at how robust the color of the batter is they definitely put a lot of red spices in all this deep fried food as you can see the squid the cauliflower it's all very rich very vibrant colors that they have in their batter okay time for something you guys are a little bit more familiar which is the biryani lamb rice mutton rice actually the biryani mutton rice came really fragrant there was a lot of spices in it you can taste some faint cardamom i'm trying to dig out the rice and show you how much mutton meat there is down there because most of it is being hidden underneath this classic pot it's a very rich rice dish another mutton dish that we had is the mutton vindaloo this one is even more rich than the biryani rice of course it's slightly spicy it's notorious for being a staple hottest curry in most indian restaurants in the uk the mutton meat is very soft it's very tender you can just eat this with rice and it's gonna be enough it tastes delicious with just white rice it has less gravy than other curries but it's flavorful i can eat south indian food while also enjoying pala paneer which is indian cottage cheese that is cooked in a thick green sauce that is made of pureed spinach a subtle light dish that goes well with either naan the flatbread or with biryani rice it goes well both ways this is not too salty so it's rich in protein b vitamins folates vitamin c vitamin k oh man it gives a really good wholesome diet it has a right amount of creamy texture consistency you have to try it all the dishes that we have so far is so vibrantly colored including this one the butter chicken they definitely did not skim in in the ingredients the spices in making all the dishes in this restaurant you can see how well how vibrant robust the color is in all of the dishes here you get a whole drumstick a whole tender drumstick in this one it's insane well we try a lot of meat so time to also try the clay pot curry tangiri which is a type of curry fish curry 
The curry is a little bit spicy and it's a little tangy thanks to the tomatoes They were generous with the lady's fingers and also the eggplants The tangiri fish is chunky and also fresh This curry goes well with uh, flatbread I think and also with white rice Carbs and curry is the perfect combination It's rare to see a cashmere naan along with also the curry dish that we had So this was really good to go with the clay pot curry fish Sweet nutty choice with some jackfruit on top sweet naan that goes well with the curry actually garlic cheese naan is a classic you can't really go wrong with this one a strong garlicky taste more than the cheese but the garlicky flavor makes it really nice it's good to eat by its own also but i think it pairs well with the palak paneer or also with the butter chicken i thought this would be my favorite but i end up liking the cashmere naan more which is kind of unique in my opinion you gotta try the naans it's the first place ever that i knew that you can get banana leaf rice and also north indian cuisine like the naan the butter chicken the palak paneer both in one spot every indian restaurant the banana leaf rice is slightly different this one the curries are also unique by its own this one does not disappoint you can see the curry is quite thick and they have these four sorts of veggies they gave a very thick dough on top as well what this place does slightly different is that on top of all of this aside from the gobi 65 you can pair well with this tandoori platter the banana leaf rice with all that curry and veggies it goes really well with this tandoori platter where you get like different sort of marinated well roasted meat chicken meat to be exact so you get the chicken kebab the tandoori chicken you can see the spice it's so so red so it's nicely charred nicely marinated still maintaining its juicy chicken meat on the inside giving you some green chili sauce and also made refreshing with a lime some red onions and some cucumber the nice protein dish does pairs really well with this banana leaf rice set this is how the complete set looks like with rasam the sour salty chili papadam which is the deep fried lentil crackers the veggies include cabbage potatoes dal with potatoes and also last but not least the deep fried snake gourd which is similar to bitter gourd there you have it the banana leaf rice set remember to try it with the tandoori platter the mango lassi is very thick with the right amount of sweetness from the mango meat it tastes like a really nice mango smoothie the other drink we had is the muru ice this is not for the faint-hearted it is spice a savory smoothie that is supposed to be very healthy if you drink this because of the spice to me it tastes a little bit like the coriander juice but it's very healthy so you gotta try it but that's only if you're adventurous enough overall this restaurant offers the best of both worlds you get north indian food south indian food that is pretty great it's worth giving it a try and the price is not too expensive some of my favorites are the cashmere naan the clay pot curry tangiri palak paneer tandoori platter and the biryani rice Thanks for watching. What do you think of this place? Have you been here? Will you try this? If you like to see more food hunt videos like this, please like and subscribe. See you next time.